Hi, today we discuss obesity. Now I will say that it is important as a short note for postgraduates or long note as a part of long note for postgraduates. Somehow it may come in short note for undergraduates. It is important as MCQ point of view. Most importantly, it is important lifestyle point of view. Lifestyle point of view. I am not here to preach, but it is good to understand that obesity has many complications and if you understand biochemistry of obesity probably it will help you and others to control your obesity or anyone else's you being a doctor you should know how it is to be done so obesity it is not just gain in weight but, um, but we take it as hormones that control eating hormones that control eating okay so there are hormones that control eating you control your eating hormones control your eating again okay so hormones control your eating the concept is very simple there is food you take in the food the food is accumulated as adipose tissue there is food you take in the food the food is accumulated as adipose tissue you exercise it is used as energy and liberated as heat now the thing is that if you do not exercise energy is not formed so food there is fat synthesis and it leads to the leads in adipose tissue and in adipose tissue it is beta oxidation and energy is or heat is formed okay now the most important hormone that controls it that controls will be leptin leptin okay so this leptin this is most important what it will it will do it will inhibit the fat synthesis and it will stimulate the beta oxidation so what is the importance of leptin leptin is giving us a chance to increase beta oxidation and adipose tissue leads to the, uh, the whatever fat is accumulated in adipose tissue it will liberate as energy and heat so this is the importance of leptin leptin is inhibiting fat synthesis so no more fat is accumulated in adipose tissue so we have cleared one hormone that is leptin so leptin is good for getting thin okay so you can understand that leptin makes you thin because leptin will uh, take all the fat in the adipose tissue undergo beta oxidation and leads to production of energy and heat okay so leptin is increasing beta oxidation now coming to one more important diagram that is one of my favorites because it makes the concept much clearer now i have three organs that will increase in the that will cause the okay that will cause my fat obesity metabolism this is my, this is pancreas okay so this is pancreas one is pancreas one is adipose tissue so one is adipose tissue one is pancreas and the other one is stomach whatever we eat goes in stomach so other one is stomach along with it i have the intestines intestinal coils to the intestine now these three organs are there pancreas adipose tissue and stomach it is very important that there are control who controls so there is an or ex exogenic this is just a, a way to remember so there is one or exogenic uh, control of the hormone Okay, so this is or exogenic, or exogenic, or exogenic. Okay, the second one is okay. The second one is anti or exogenic. This is anti or exogenic. This will also have a control over. the higher neuron
This will also have a control over the high and low power. This higher neural will control the muscle adipose tissue liver. Muscle adipose tissue liver. Okay, so this is a neuron. The diagram is very interesting. Just follow the diagram. There are three organs: pancreas, adipose tissue, stomach, along with intestinal coils. Then there is the orexigenic, anti-orexigenic. Orexigenic means orexins means orexin means yes, you want food. Orexin means it will help you gain fat. Orexin, orexin, anti-orexin, anti-orexinic, anti-orexinic. What it says is you remember one thing. We know we we are always remembering the things which are against or anti. So anti is what it says. Eat less. Okay. Anti says eat less, metabolize more. So anti orexinic will say eat less and metabolize more. So anti orexinic says eat less, metabolize more to the neuron. Neuron conveys this message to muscle adipose tissue and liver. Orexinic is ulta or it is a reverse. Orexinic will say it wants more food and it will metabolize less. And saying it will say to the neuron and the neuron will pass on the message to muscle adipose tissue and liver. Now what does insulin? Sorry, what does pancreas secrete? Pancreas secrete insulin. So they have the action over on the orexigenic and on the anti-orexigenic. This is my insulin. So this is insulin. Insulin. So what will insulin do? Insulin will stimulate anti-orexigenic. It will stimulate anti-orexigenic, but it will inhibit orexigenic. It will inhibit orexigenic. So insulin stimulates anti-orexigenic. Now adipose tissue. Adipose tissue we have already seen. Leptin. Leptin will stimulate anti-orexigenic, and it will inhibit orexigenic. This is leptin. Okay. Now stomach. What will stomach do? Stomach produces only one. It is ghrelin. Ghrelin. Okay, so ghrelin will stimulate or exogenic, and intestines will give a hormone that is PYY thirty six. It will inhibit PYY three thirty six. It will inhibit the or exogenic. Now, what is or ex? Uh, so, insulin stimulates anti or exogenic. It inhibits or exogenic. Leptin again stimulates anti-orexigenic. It inhibits or exogenic. Ghrelin will stimulate or exogenic hormone, and PYY will inhibit or exogenic. So there are many or exogenic, anti-or exogenic hormones. The basis is that anti-or exogenic will say to the neuron that eat less and metabolize more. So if we want, we learn what is anti-or exogenic. Anti-or exogenic. The other example is alpha MSH. This is anti-or exogenic. And or exogenic. The example is. NPY, okay. So anti-orexigenic is alpha MSH. So insulin stimulates anti-orexigenic. Leptin stimulates anti-orexigenic. Ghrelin stimulates new uh, orexigenic. And PYY three thirty six inhibits orexigenic. So this is the most basic, the most most basic role, uh, most basic biochemistry of obesity. And this is. Before stepping further, that which are anti-orexigenic hormones, which are orexigenic hormones, this is the basic. If you remember this, it is more than sufficient to uh, remember all the columns, uh, all the long hormone list. The simple and the most easy is remember leptin, anti-orexigenic, insulin, anti-orexigenic, alpha MSH, anti-orexigenic, PYY three thirty six. It will inhibit orexigenic. Ghrelin it stimulates orexigenic and NPY. So. Actually, ghrelin and NPY are orexigenic hormones. Okay, so this is the way biochemistry of obesity is done. We further look into other hormonal list also afterwards. But this is the simplest and the most easiest chart for obesity control. And uh, whenever required in the answer, please draw it, and MCQs can also come through it. Thank you.